Hey, what's going on? It's Dr. Buck, and in this video, we're going to talk about stool transplants. <laughs> Hey, what's going on? It's Dr. Buck again, and in this uh, video we are going to talk about stool transplant, but uh, I know that sounds really disgusting, and it is. Actually, it's not as disgusting as you think, but it's still disgusting. Uh, we're going to talk about C. diff colitis, or Clostridium difficile uh, colon infection, and it's basically an infection of the colon. I know there's already bacteria in the colon, but this is a specific bacteria that when it uh, is in the colon, and has a chance to proliferate due to some other factors, uh, you can get a really, really bad infection. Uh, most of the time, it's a hospital type of inquir acquired infection or like a nursing home type of infection. And what happens is uh, kind of a little bit strange. And this is why um, maybe you go to the doctor and you're like, well, just give me some antibiotics. Like I have this cold and they say, well, it's not really um, a cold. It's probably to a, due to a virus. And you're like, screw it, just give me some antibiotics anyway. Well, this is why you do not want antibiotics anyway. Because if you get a dose of antibiotics and you don't need them, you could possibly get C. diff colitis. Uh, so what happens is you get a dose of antibiotics, either cephalosporin, a fluoroquinolone, or uh, clindamycin are the, are the typical antibiotics that cause this. They kill a lot of the bacteria, your normal bacteria in your colon. And if you have a C. diff or you acquire C. diff, uh, Clostridium difficile, is the name of the bacteria, uh, you have that, then that gives the C. diff a chance to proliferate in the colon and cause the infection. Um, so then you need treatment, you need more antibiotics to treat the C. diff. Uh, and it can be a very mild to moderate to very severe uh, infection and even, you know, people do die of this infection. Uh, not most of the time, but it is possible. Actually, I'll tell you a story. Um, I had a, a patient who was 28 years old. He came in, he got shot in the belly. Um, we, so we operated on him, and generally uh, for an abdominal operation, well, most operations, you'll give a dose of preoperative antibiotics to prevent against uh, um, incision site uh, infection. So we gave him one dose of preoperative antibiotics, and I think he got another dose uh, maybe after the operation. He's 28 years old, healthy, no other medical problems. Um, he, we operated on him for uh, GSW the belly. GSW is a gunshot wound, by the way. Um, and don't confuse that with SGW, which is shotgun wound. This is different, right? So anyway, um, or, stat, or SW, which is stab wound. So he gets operated on for the GSW. Uh, it actually didn't injure anything, so he really, you know, you have to go and check, but uh, in this situation, we couldn't tell if it was near his colon or not, uh, the bullet track, and so we had to go check. It was not there, so we closed him up. Uh, quick operation, no problem. He goes back, to, he goes to the floor for recovery. He got those um, antibiotics, two doses, and then he developed C. diff uh, like three, four days later. So he gets, uh, we put him on antibiotics um, for the C. diff, and uh, within like 48 hours, he progressed to uh, having a full-blown C. diff infection so bad that he needed his colon removed. So this is a 28-year-old guy who got shot, um, who got, gets a couple dose of, uh, doses of antibiotics, cephalosporins, and he ends up having uh, to have his colon removed forever. So he has a colostomy, or it's actually an ileostomy bag. A colostomy is when it's the colon coming out of the skin in, in the poop bag and the ileostomy is when it's a small bowel. So he has an ileostomy bag as a 28-year-old kid. So it can be very, very dangerous and very severe. So that's why we all, you know, most, a lot of doctors are like, look, I, I don't want to give you antibiotics. You know, you don't need antibiotics right now. So that's a C. diff infection. Now, what do we do to prevent against that? C. diff is uh, basically transmitted by humans, and it's the oral fecal route which is also disgusting, but, it, you know, bears, basically you have aerosols, and if you, t take that back, you don't have aerosols. If you're um, handling somebody or something with C. diff, you can get it on your hands, and you can transmit it to the next person, and most of the time, it's actually transmitted by the healthcare workers. So we go in to see one patient, we come out of the room, 
if you don't wash your hands, you still have it on you, you go see the next patient, you can give it to them. And then, you know, they basically, if, if you put it on them, they, they touch it and they're eating and stuff and that's how they get it. So, um, so that's, so the big push to fix C. diff is hand washing. That's the, that's the number one prevention uh, for C. diff. Uh, of course, we do have antibiotics to treat it, mostly vancomycin and uh, flagyl or metronidazole is the other um, medication. So those two um, medications are kind of the mainstay. I think Zyvox is also being used in kind of resistant strains of C. diff as well. So that's kind of the long and short of it. Um, it is a very, it can be a very, very serious disease. Uh, if, especially if you're elderly or you have uh, other medical problems or you're immunosuppressed, you can have, you, I mean, you can essentially die from C. diff. Um, and that is most of the time a hospital acquired uh, condition. It's really, um, you know, not too often you see it out in the community. Like, you know, you may get pneumonia when you're at home, and we call that community acquired pneumonia. We may get a hospital acquired pneumonia when, when you're in the hospital. Then those are different bugs and different bacteria and stuff. And so, uh, but most of the time, this is a hospital acquired condition. So, um, yeah, I think that's about all I wanted to say. Just a quick run through C. diff. Um, if, if this is the number one thing, if you do not um, need antibiotics, do, do not get antibiotics because you can get C. diff, okay? Very bad. Uh, there's other reasons that you shouldn't take just antibiotics all the time. You can cause uh, these uh, other bugs to become resistant to certain antibiotics and then they could become what we call super bugs and they're resistant to everything and you don't have anything to kill the bug and then you're in big trouble. Okay, so the other, th the other treatment I forgot, totally forgot, is this, the uh, stool transplant and what you do for the stool transplant. These are for uh, recurrent um, C. diff patients. They get in infected with C. diff over and over and you can't get rid of it and you don't need to take the colon out quite yet. It's not quite that bad, but it's still a moderate infection. <clears throat> you treat it, they get better, they go home, they come back again with another infection. And this would be uh, you take a normal stool from another patient and you then do a scope, okay, with the colonoscopy. Uh, this is, this is colonoscopy, this is a uh, <laughs> Uh, hand gesture for colonoscopy, I guess. So if, if you guys see me do this on my videos, that's, that's colonoscopy. It can be colonoscopy or rectal exam, okay? Whatever, or suppository. That's the other thing it could be. Anyway, so you do a colonoscopy and you actually inject a stool from another patient into the colon for the, from the colonoscopy. So you don't, it's good, you don't have to drink it. Um, you don't have to, uh, <laughs> you don't have to, that would be good. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, I gotta go. Anyway, that's uh, C. diff. I'll talk to you guys later. Hey, hey subscribe. Um, uh, bing! Right there. See you later.